everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I've missed you so much. Let's begin with our lesson for today. Today we will be learning about comparing capacity. So capacity is when I identify which objects hold more or hold less. So capacity is how much a container can hold its volume, how much it can hold. It can hold big amounts or small amounts. Let's watch the video and learn more about capacity. What are you doing with these jars of water? I'm comparing their capacity. Capacity? Capacity is how much something holds. Like how much water each jar holds? Exactly. We can compare capacity just by looking at the size of the object. To compare the capacity of two objects, we use the words more than and less than. We can say that the large jar holds more water than the small jar. Or we can say that the small jar holds less water than the large jar. You've got it. So which bucket holds more sand? The red bucket is larger, so it holds more than the blue bucket. Very good, Marta. Can you think of a tool you could use to measure how much sand the bucket holds? Or how much water the jar holds? Something you can find in your classroom or home? I know. What about a cup? Yes, Marta, that would be a great tool for measuring how much something holds. Come on, now we have some work to do. Let's compare some containers. Here are two glasses. Which glass holds more? The larger glass holds more. Now look at these two bowls. Which bowl holds less? The smaller bowl holds less. Look at these two pitchers. Do the pitchers hold the same amount or does one hold more? Same amount. You have learned to compare how much different containers can hold. So, as we said, we will be learning about capacity and capacity is a container that or how much a container can hold. So as we can see here in this guided practice, number one, they've already done it for us, but let's explain it. They have asked us to find the container that holds more. So if I look at these two cups, these tea cups, which one I can have more tea inside it? Is it the small one, the small blue one? No, it has, it holds only a little bit. But if I put inside the purple one, it can hold more tea. And number two, I will look at these two containers. I think, as I can see, that if I put water or juice inside them, they will have the same amount. So I will underline them. Let's go to the next page. I have two pots. So let's look at the green pot. What do you think? Does the green pot hold more or less than the blue pot? It holds less. Excellent. So I will put an X on it. And I will circle the big pot, which is blue, because it holds more. Number four, I have two teacups so which one here can hold more tea i can put more tea and drink a lot which one is that it's this one so i will circle it and put an x on the one that holds less number five so if the containers hold more i will circle it if it holds less i will put an x on it and if they hold the same amount, I will underline them. 
So in number five, as we can see, they are the same size. They are same volume, both containers. So I will underline both of them because they hold the same amount. Number six, I have two jugs here. Which one do you think can hold more water? The pink one. So I will circle the pink jug and put an X on the blue one. Number seven, I have two pails, a blue one and a red one. Which one of them can hold more water? More water. Is it the small one? No, I'm going to put an X on it. No, the one that can hold more is this big blue one. Number eight, I have two sand boxes. A very big one, which has a lot of sand, and a smaller one, which has a little sand. So which one holds more sand? This big sand box. And I'll put an X on the next one. Number nine, I have two garbage bins. Both of them have the same size and the same volume. So they both hold the same amount. Number 10, I have this bucket, this container, and I, um, I have to draw a container that holds less than it. So if it holds less than it, that, then it should be smaller in size. And this is our